Maximum Settings is a cloud gaming service that allows you to rent a high-end PC that you can stream instead of using your PC to play really demanding games with. This includes being able to play this rental PC on your Android device. In this video, we'll go over how to install and get started playing with Maximum Settings on your Android tablet. Let's take it to the max. The first thing you're going to want to do is turn on your Maximum Settings PC. So log in to the Maximum Settings website on a browser. Go to the URL MaximumSettings.com and then click on the Login button at the top. If your Android is a smaller mobile phone rather than a tablet, you can go directly to the login at login.maximumsettings.com. Feel free to check out our Getting Started video for details for turning on your Maximum Settings PC. You'll basically have to repeat your setup you did on your desktop for your Android device. Once you have logged in, hit the Start button to get your machine started. Don't forget to scroll over to the right and remember your IP address that is displayed on your server information here. Once you see activity in the CPU and the memory usage bars, go to the console tab and then start up the console. Make sure you see the PC active and keep this browser window open. Now to download the app, go to the Google Play Store and type in Moonlight Game Streaming in the search. The Moonlight app should appear as the first option. It's a free app, so hit install to download it. And once the app is finished downloading, open it up. Now it's time to connect the Moonlight app to your Maximum Settings PC. Press the plus button on the left hand side to add a host. This host is going to be your Maximum Settings PC. So enter your IP of your Maximum Settings PC as I said to remember before. Once this has been added successfully, tap the PC icon to activate the NVIDIA Shield code to enter on your Maximum Settings PC. Remember your unique 4-digit code or jot it down. Now it's time to go back to the dashboard page on your browser and put in the code in the NVIDIA dialog box through the console. Now this is where I had a problem. I couldn't enter the code into the NVIDIA dialog box because the keyboard would not come up when I tried to click on the input field. To get around this, I had to install an app that could open the keyboard on command. The app Hacker's Keyboard allowed me to open up the keyboard and input the code on the console when I wanted to. Just make sure you have the setting Use Permanent Notification checked so you could activate it by tapping the notification at the top. Now you could enter the four digit code in the NVIDIA box on the console. If you don't see it anymore, request a new one from the Moonlight app. Moonlight should now have you logged into your Maximum Settings PC. You should see a list of previously installed games or just the mstsc.exe app to remote into your PC. Feel free to hit that app to gain control of your remote PC. Now that you have connected to your Maximum Settings PC through your Android, I would recommend going through the app settings to make sure they are set accordingly based on your internet connection and data requirements. Hit the Android back arrow, then hit the cog at the top to open up the settings options. There's a couple of settings I would set for best results and those are the resolution and the bitrate. Each device is different, so make sure you play with your connection settings to get the right data stream for you. There are two other settings that you might need to be aware of. If you have the input setting Use the touchscreen as a trackpad checked, the touchscreen will then be used to drag the mouse icon like you would on a laptop. If it's unchecked, the touchscreen will work the traditional way where your mouse is your finger and will point directly where your finger is on the screen. The Show On Screen Controls gives you the option to display the on-screen gamepad if you have no external gamepad. I'll activate this to show you. 
you can feel free to play with these settings at any time to get the right feel for you. Now, back to the remote PC and continue our session. You should see the Windows desktop on your Android device. Navigate to your programs and games as you normally would. Use your new keyboard to enter credentials as need be. I'm going to run Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts 2 on Steam. I have the on-screen controller on to show how to use it in-game. But, I highly recommend using a Bluetooth gamepad like an Xbox controller instead because it can be very difficult to play using the on-screen controller. Once you are in-game, play how you would on any other platform using the in-game controller. This gameplay was sped up for time. The cog at the top left is the configuration button, which will allow you to change the button colors and move the buttons around. Once you are finished, save and quit like you would on any other PC game. Hit the back button on your Android to disconnect the Moonlight app from your maximum settings PC. Now go back to the dashboard on your browser and make sure to shut your machine down to save your credit. If you forget, your maximum settings machine has an automatic shutdown that initiates after the five hour mark. Don't forget to log off and you're done. That ends this tutorial of how to get started with setting up and playing maximum settings on your Android device, specifically a tablet. If you enjoyed this tutorial, feel free to give us a like and make sure to subscribe for more because we'll be having more maximum settings content and other cloud gaming platform content coming soon. So keep it right here at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.